hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to install kali linux which is a penetration testing operating system on your android phone um, if you're new to this channel make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications as we upload videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking and programming so if you're interested in this um this niche of videos make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos uh, without wasting much of your time, let us get to the video. As usual, of course, the very first thing you're going to do is install Tamox. Now, after installing Tamox, we're going to update Tamox packages. And you can update Tamox packages with the pkg update command. Alright? Now, after updating your Tamox packages, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Pyroot Distro. And as most of you already know, Pyroot Distro is the package that helps us install our um, Linux operating system on our Android phone using Tamox, all right? So you're going to install Pyroot Distro with the command pkg install Pyroot iPhone Distro. Now, after installing Pyroot Distro, we're going to edit an installation script for Kali Linux. To do that, you're going to use the command nano dollar prefix forward slash etc forward slash Pyroot iPhone Distro, then forward slash Kali.sh kali.sh starting for kali linux name so you're going to paste this script in kali linux i've already um you're going to be able to copy the link in the description below all right so um you're going to install kali with the command period distro install kali after editing that script of course now that kali is installed the very so um as you can see right here it says that to log into kali you should use the command period distro login kali but i don't want to have to start you know Typing the command period distro login Kali all the time. I want to log into Kali with a simple command. So I'm going to create a shortcut login for Kali Linux. Now, to do that, you're going to use the command echo period distro login Kali, as you can see right there. Then I'm going to save this um, this command. I'm going to save it in the user forward slash bin directory. All right. You're going to be able to copy all of these commands in the description below. Please watch this video till the end so that you don't make mistakes. Okay. It is important to watch it in the end. To understand what i did here so after creating this command the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give it executable permission now to do that you're going to use the command ch mode plus x and um as you can see i have created a shortcut command for kali linux which means every time i type kali i'll be able to log in and i've given it executable permission now to log into kali linux all i just have to do is type kali and as you can see I am logged in so i'm going to install the gui of kali linux now but before that we're going to update the repositories with apt update command then after that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to of course we're going to install the gui so you're going to install xfce4 sfc4 whisker menu slash plugin i found plugin rather and then of course we're going to install um q terminal the box x11 and firefox um but um, i'll write i'll prefer genome terminal okay and kali teams so i'm going to change this q terminal to genome terminal all right genome terminal i prefer the genome terminal to you know to q terminal the genome terminal is cooler than you know it's, it's it looks more cool so we're going to be using genome terminal then of course you're going to enter the command i found y and you're going to wait for this to finish installing so you're going to be asked for your keyboard language i'm going to be using english and that command is going to install the gui version of kali linux on your android phone so um so now we're going to be moving to the vnc connection aspect now to avoid unnecessary disconnection we're going to be using tamox to install vnc then we're going to be connecting to the local host of tamox from our kali linux all right so um to do that just simply create a new connection to tamox okay you're going to open a new connection to tamox now you're going to slide from the left side of your screen to the right and i'm um, you're going to open tamox and the first thing we're going to install is um we're going to install x11 repo all right now to install x11 repo you're going to use the command pkg install x11 iphone repo then of course um we want to install post audio to make sure that um you know sound is working on on kali linux and of course we're going to install tiger vnc which is the vnc server um package and that can be done with the command pkg install tiger vnc and another package we will install is the sog iphan x host package all right so you're going to click on enter and you know the installation should be completed in minutes now we're going to be editing the uh, pulse audio 
sound package okay to make sure that this the sound package is working and to make sure that the sound package is connected to the local host one which is the local host that we're going to be working on all right so you're going to type the command nano dollar prefix forward slash etc forward slash pulse forward slash default dot pa and you're going to type the command control w on your keyboard it is going to open up a search window and you're going to search for tcp now when the tcp uh when your button goes to the tcp protocol make sure you untag the comment here you untag the comment the hashtag comment and you're going to paste this at the front don't worry this is not going to be hard for you as i'm going to be pasting everything you need to do this in the description below so just go to the description and copy them from there okay after doing that another thing we're going to be editing is um the daemon.config directory now to do that you're going to be using the command nano dollar prefix forward slash etc forward slash pulse then forward slash daemon all right d-a-e-m-o-n dot c-o-n-f okay you're going to click on on time you're going to um enter control w on your keyboard once again and this time around you want to search for um exit okay okay exit doesn't do it search for exit i do all right exit i found i do yeah right there so we're going to be changing the exit i do time from 20 to minus one okay so you're going to change this from 20 to minus one exactly so you're going to save that and you're going to exit and um the last thing we're going to do is um We're going to create a, a sound command okay in the bin folder all right to do that you're going to enter the command nano dot dot forward slash user dot forward slash bin forward slash sound and you're going to also paste this script in that um in that folder so i'm going to be pasting all of this command in the description below so you have nothing to worry about just go to the description and copy the command from there we're going to give the sound the sound command is a credible permission and what that is it okay that is it with sound so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to create a vnc connection command okay now to do that you're going to be using the command echo then vnc server okay vnc server and the geometry of our vnc server i'm creating my geometry according to you know the resolution of my phone the resolution of my phone is one six times 700 okay if your resolution is different make sure you use your android phone resolution to you know to get the best experience mine is one six times 700 then you're going to type the command i file listing dash listing then tcp okay and the tcp we're going to be listening to is the local host one protocol then you're going to type the command display display is equal to ratio one x host plus now what this display is equal to ratio one xs plus command is going to do is it is going to connect this it is going to make this local host the local host one available to every other host in the port you understand then we're going to be saving this in the bin folder and we're going to name it connect vnc okay connect vnc now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it executable permission of course ch mode plus x connect vnc and as you can see we now have executable permission here so every time we type connect vnc it is going to launch the vnc server but remember that we want to use the sound server and we want to use the vnc server at the same time so i'm going to create a shortcut command again that launches both command at the same time okay so to do that type the command again nano dot forward slash user then forward slash bin then we're going to be naming this um this command we're going to be naming it start now okay start now and the start now command what is start now going to do it is going to execute the sound command and it is going to execute the connect vnc command i hope you understand this so what start now is going to do is it is going to first execute the sound command then it is going to execute the connect vnc command at the same time so that we don't have to do it you know twice so if i type the command so let us give it executable permission okay to give it as executable permission of course we're going to be using the command ch mode plus x ch mode plus x okay and you're going to click on enter now that is going to give it executable permission now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch vnc to launch vnc you're just going to type the command start now and the start now command it is going to basically launch the you know 
the sound server and at the same time it is going to launch it is going to launch vnc okay i make it available you know in the in the local house so vnc has been launched now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch back to our kali linux machine okay we're going to switch back to kali linux and in kali linux we're going to create a shortcut command that helps us connect to that open localhost on tamox okay now to do that you're going to use the command echo then of course you're going to type the command export post server is equal to 127.0.0.1 which is the localhost one for the sound server and then the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to display our xfc 4 gui to the localhost one which is the localhost that the tcp protocol is connected to earlier if you can remember and then we're going to save this command in the user forward slash local forward slash bin folder and we're going to name the command we're going to name it start server okay now we're going to give start server executable permission by typing the command ch mode plus x plus x start server okay and um that is it that is it start server has been installed so um if i type the command cut start server as you can see we have export post server is equal to 127.0.0.1 then the display xfc section the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the the server and as you can see um the gui command you know the gui has been launched so you're going to be using the net x application which also i am going to be pasting a link to the application in the description below Make sure your connection type is ultra vnc and make sure your local host is connected to localhost one which is the local host our tcp protocol is connected to and make sure the password you're using is the password you created earlier with your vnc connection okay when you were creating your vnc command the password you created earlier make sure that is the password you're using and click on connect and as you can see we are now logged in into our mini hacking machine as you can see so if your phone is rooted you can basically do anything you can you know wi-fi spoofing and the rest you can do anything that Linux can do with this and um if your phone isn't rooted you know you can minimally use this you know uh on your android phone so this is just how you basically install Kali Linux on your android phone now you're going to find it difficult to install some some applications or some packages due to the fact that um you will not be you will not be able to upgrade your packages so um i'm going to show you i'm going to be showing you how to you know how to make apt upgrade work on kali linux now to make apt upgrade work you're going to be typing this command you're going to copy and paste this command on your terminal i'm also going to be pasting the command in the description below and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to upgrade your terminal by using the command apt upgrade and as you can see my terminal is upgrading and um the upgrade is going to be successful of course so i'm going to click on y which is yes now to upgrade open ssh server and um and the likes so i'm going to click on y which is yes okay and um yeah the upgrade took a while it took a while so i'm going to install the the local version of um of open ssh okay it took a while this actually took a while to install so you're going to be patient and um that is it that is it man that is how you install Kali Linux on your on your Android phone, on your Android device. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. And heading to the most important part of this video, the most important aspect is to remember to always kill your VNC connection after you're done using it. Make sure you always kill your VNC connection. Make sure you always kill your VNC connection. As you can see, the sound is working and all of that. But it is important that every time you're done with, you know, using Kali Linux or your operating system, make sure you kill the VNC connection. Go back to Tamox. To kill the VNC server, you're going to use the command VNC server dash kill ratio one. And that is going to kill the localhost one server. So please, this is important. Make sure you always kill your VNC server after, you know, you're done with working on your project. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any question for me so and um yeah goodbye goodbye for now